What up YouTube, it's your boy Crowder, and today I'm coming with you with some advice. Yes, advice. The first topic for my advice, I'm talking about relationships. Is it good or bad to be in one? If you view it as bad, because you single, right now, and you get tired of looking at all the couples on your social media page. If it's good, you know, because you are in a relationship. So that's why it's good. Now, everywhere you go, you see couples are in a relationship at the store, the mall, the movies, you name it, church. Yeah, you're going to see it at church. But you end up finding out that this couple or whatnot have broken up because they did not legitimately ask the questions that they need to know before getting a relationship. Now, there is some reason why so many people get in a relationship because they're cute or they want to feel needed or they don't want to be alone. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with it, but you got to, before you ask the questions, you got to know, like, you got to know them. To be honest, you got to know who they is. Now, these are some, now, before you get in a relationship, there's such thing as a talking stage. Now, the best thing when you're a single and about to be in a relationship is best to talk to about three people. Three to two people. You don't want to talk to just one person. Like you just see them and you just want to talk to that one person. It's best to get yourself out there. Try to explore and try to get to know more people instead of knowing one. Because if you just know one, you're putting yourself in a hole that you cannot dig out of. And further, further, it's going to get messy. So, now, in this talking stage, you need to ask the person many different questions. Like, do you take showers? That is a real good question. You know how many couples break up because they didn't take showers? They be like, what is that smell? Like, you smell really bad right now. Also, there's another question that you need to ask. Like, you can ask... Uh, how many relationships you've been in before? Now, you know, whatever she, the number she say, if you can handle it, then that's good for you. If you cannot handle it, then you know it ain't going to work. You're going to be like, why you date 25 people? And then you end up asking how long they last. Only about a week. Why? See, that's a problem right there. It's either with her, because it can't be with the guy. You know what I'm saying? Just, I'm being honest. If you see something like that, then you already know it's trouble. Now, if you just in a relationship, trying to be in a relationship with a person cause just because they just look cute and you don't know nothing about them, then that just, then you just completely just ignore what I just said. If you just want to be a person because of money, now what type of person would want to be in a relationship with money? I can't think of that right now. But, if you just want to do that, then that's just really bad. If you just want to be in a relationship because just other sex, then you know it's not going to last. I ain't got to explain that one. You got to know these questions to ask. You got to ask these questions. The next question, do you see yourself taking them home to your parents' house? That's a real good question because... Many people want to know, when I'm going to meet your parents? And they're going to say nothing and be like, you know, my parents got to go out of town. Or, you know, my parents, they don't want to see nobody else. They just want to see me. You know that you ain't going to last that long with that response right there. You know it's not going to last. So you should go ahead, prepare for it. You should probably end it your own, sir. So. You're like, you know what, I just can't do this no more. You know what I'm saying? You got to ask yourself this. How long do you see yourself with this person? Like, do you see yourself being with them for about a year or a month or just a week or just maybe just a day? You got to ask yourself that. I don't know. I don't care the couples right now. They watching this right now. You you turn around and ask them. Pause the video right now and then go ask them because this is very serious. You got to know what their mindset. Now, there are so many reasons why... Uh, that people, they, they couples, they break up because of be over the stuff they didn't ask because they end up finding some stuff out that they didn't even know. 
it's true it's bad but it's true but you gotta know you gotta know yourself you gotta know them in order to make such a thing last being in a relationship is not is it's not bad and it's good too it's it's just the timing of it don't rush anything that's one thing about it do not rush anything take your time the best time to ask somebody to be you to be official is probably about a month or a month and a half depending on how fast the relationship i know somebody that had dated they knew each other for about a good three weeks and they've been together for a long time so it depends it depends on the feelings they're on the same page as you and the best thing don't and do not do this i cannot scratch this do not do this do not have sex with this person within the first week do not do that that will that will totally mess up a relationship really really bad so take your time with everything you're gonna take your time you gotta take it gotta be it don't have to be a snail pace but it don't have to be no horse pace let me just go ahead and say that take your time and make sure you do, your feelings develop you don't want somebody feelings to be out like this and you like this you see what i'm saying do you see the difference do you, do you see the difference from feelings right here to, to their feelings they got more feelings than you my name is Crota. I'm out.